Hi, this is Cherie Shanti, and I'm here with Roberto Leith Perez. Perez. And uh, I happen to be blessed enough to be staying at his place in Puerto Rico. And when I got to the property, I saw this incredible art laying around, um, sitting around, just laid beautifully, I should say. And I was really fascinated, and so I was blessed enough to get to meet him and to share some time and hear some of his stories, and I was inspired. Um, a beautiful story to share with you today, so I wanted to take a few minutes and um, give Robert an opportunity to share a little bit about what he does and these art pieces with you. So, Robert, tell me about your inspiration for your work. Well, um, thank you, Cherise. This is actually the first time uh, that these ladies come out. They've been uh, in the process. This is all the work of uh, last year, and these these are the two latest editions. They're actually uh, uh, from a, uh, uh, a work that I call uh, the Las Nubias, the Nubian Queens, and I started with one, and then uh, slowly I started, and I, I worked two at a time. Uh, I've done this kind of work before, but mostly from Brazilian orishas, and now I'm, I'm coming back to African lady, but more in, in, on the colorful side. They're not uh, re religiously oriented, but they are. They show a lot of uh, African in influence. So uh, it's cool, like the, the materials that you're using. You've got zip ties. You've got they, traditional they, they beads. They just pop up. They just pop Is that, up. Like, how do you find your materials? I see them, and then I keep the idea, and I see how I can apply it to 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 them. But most of the stuff I find, you know, like the seashells and and, and the things, and I love this and uh, yeah. Uh, but it's uh, it's actually a. a Una terapia, it's a therapy, you know, you concentrate on it and, and the colors come out and everything. And uh, this is for a work that hopefully is going to be exhibited at the end of this year. It's going to be 20 pieces. But they all have a name, they all have a little history. Like for example, this lady here is Coco Chanel. Mm -hmm. And she has the two coconuts. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a, 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 a Loretta drone. So they all have a, a little history that comes with them. Yeah, you know? it's very cool. And uh, I have a lot of fun doing it. <laughs> so talk to us about the therapeutic aspects of, of the art. Well, because, For you, personally. Yeah, well, um, I like working pieces this size. This is more like human size, you know, I can't like, get into details, but this piece is, and uh, the, the ideas just come up. But for you, you, you keep mentioning therapy. So a lot of what I focus on with art and, and any kind of community stuff that I do as well is the healing aspects. Because yes. when we play together or when we create together or when we create on our own, it is very healing. So I'd love to hear your... Because well, you mentioned it, I've been so touched yeah, by yeah. that. Yeah, Shiri, I need to be doing something always. Uh, when I work on... I usually work on two pieces at a time. Mm -hmm. And I go back to them. But... When I'm working, I, I forget about everything. Mm. It's a, what I'm doing, it's like when I'm swimming, you know. And and it puts me in a stage where nothing, nobody touches me except the communication that I have here, like when I have in the ocean, mm. and 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 that also with the music, because they're going to have a music, uh, you know, some African. Music. And you play music as well, yeah. right? And, right. Yeah, and I company with the music, so I go into my own level and. and that's, you know, and before before this art, you were doing different stuff. You were doing well, photography. photography yeah, and photography. Talk to us a little bit about your history. Uh, I, I went to school in Holland, in Amsterdam, for, for documentary for photojournalists. I lived in Holland for in 74, 75. And I covered uh, a lot of the, like the Civil War in Portugal and, and in Spain. And I like I like that aspect of photojournalism. And, uh, well, photography is, was just, I have the composition already. So it was very easy for me. Yeah. You know, I see something and I frame it right away and I know what I want. So uh, the artistic blood comes from my mother's side. My dad's from Boston, my mom was from here. And my, my grandfather was a painter of, of, uh, of sight, you know. And I saw him work when I was very young. And I was very impressed with, you know, 
So it's been part of your life, oh, pretty yeah. much your yeah. entire yeah. life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Always yeah. creating. And is your photography? Can you can you tell us how to find you? You have a website, or you have um, some information on Facebook. I think you were telling yeah, me. Well, I'm well, going to well, help well, you build a website. Yes. So we're going to get that working. Yes. But what's your uh, your what's Robert, your Facebook? How do Robert, find you? Robert Leaf Paris. And I also had the one for the for the, the radio program uh, music, which was Desafinado. I had that uh, Brazilian music for 16 years. And uh, actually, it was in Brazil that all this kind of flourished, you know. Uh, very graphic, I was always very curious with that, for all the uh, their art and their expressions, you know. And would you say that you had, because you started with the Oricha work, would the you Orisha. say that you had a spiritual connection that well, kind of brought more, you into that, more, or was more, it just a cu curiosity? curiosity. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm a Catholic, I'm a bad Catholic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, bad Catholic is when things get tough, oh, please enjoy, <laughs> you know, I'll do anything for you. <laughs> it's like also with the mermaids and things, you, you make a promise, oh, get me a girlfriend and I'll swim three times more the next day or something like that, you know. It all comes back, uh, but it was in, in Brazil that, that uh, all these uh, uh, African, right, because they are originally African from the Yoruba, Yoruba tradition, that, uh, that I started to get uh, more curious. Mm -hmm. I'm not a follower. I, I respect and I yeah, know no, it, I understand. but uh, either you are a follower or you're not. I, right. I like to stay outside and be very objective about, mm -hmm. about the work. But uh, uh, it's music related, it's art related, and it's people related. Right. Yeah. So where is your where is your show going to be? Do you know? Have you? Well, out I, uh, out? I have a couple of galleries waiting. Okay. It's going to be there in Puerto Rico. Right? Yes, hopefully before the end. Of the okay, end good. Of the it's going to be called the new the, the Nubians, and I'm going to have the, the music and the interviews and awesome. everything. So you have to keep us posted so yes. we can share it with everyone. And I want to thank you, Shuri, for there. for your help and. Yeah, for sure. And, uh, and like I say, it's the first time they come out to get some some light. Let's um, let's get some shots of these too. These are just the heads. Yeah, these They're are really the ones cool that are as well. Those are more like the like, like the tradition uh, Yoruba tradition. Very cool, and it's just wire and yeah, just things I find. Yeah, you know? it's great. Well, thank you so much. I'm really um, blessed to meet you and. Well, look forward to supporting your work in any ways Sherry, that we can, at least sharing the it with ladies, the world a little bit. Believe me, these ladies are most grateful. She's awesome. For her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they, they lived with me, with me the whole year, last year, and they had a rough time because they all wanted to go to Walgreens, they <laughs> wanted to go to Louisa Street, <laughs> and I had to keep them here. Yeah, but they, and, and they had problems with their visa and their passport, but uh. they're here now. Well, and, thank and you for doing what regular. you do. It, it's very inspiring. Thank and, you. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you so much. So we'll, we'll keep in touch and we'll be sharing more about you. Thank you again. Awesome. Bye.